Hey guys, I am Rhett with the Mix Club, and today in this video, I'm going to show you a plugin that I use in Logic. It's LP Colorizer, and it's been around for a bit, and they have a new version out that I just picked up that is really, really great. You can really get in, and you can just about like dive into anything on here. Um, check their website out. You can like try this thing out. Um, the interface is really, really cool. And if you're like me and have trouble with your vision, this really helps because I have glaucoma and certain things that are really bright, they just look like cotton balls and stuff like that. So I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. Let's go ahead and jump into this and I'm gonna show you guys um, my logic setup. Here we go. Okay, now this is what my logic session looks like. Let's, for instance, look at the EQ here, okay? You can see over here, it's really kind of cool. See how this stuff is uh, kind of changing colors and you can set all this stuff um, in colorizer. Like you can set all your uh, colors here on your um, plugins and stuff. Um, let's walk over and I'll show you how real quick how to do your, like let's just say this EQ, okay? Let's pop up colorizer. It is so much easier than it used to be, guys. It used to be kind of hard to do this stuff. Um, now it's just great, okay? Say you want to change that, you just double click on that, right? Say like that right there. Okay, then you can go to your inside color here. Let's say I wanted that. I would just go ahead and get out, and then you would save this. But I'm going to go ahead and back out of this because I like my colors that I have going on. Okay, so now we're in the piano roll editor. Check this out. Just click right here on that. Say you want to change that, change that to whatever you want. Um, you can even change the text here of that. Um, here's your white on your keyboard. Let's say you just wanted your keys to be yellow. You could do this, you could do that, you could do this, you could do that. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of cool. And I like that. You know what? We're just going to save that. Check this out. Go over here to colorize. It's going to ask you to save. Go ahead and save your project. Then it opens logic back up and let's go here to recents and this is LP colorizer. Okay. Let's go ahead and click on the uh, MIDI event here. There you go. There's your changes. Isn't that cool? And okay. Now this thing comes with a bunch of like preloaded templates and stuff like that. That's what I originally did. I went through and I picked out, you know, the templates that, you know, I thought worked the best for me and just kind of kept building on that. The one that I used for the longest time, and uh, then I started messing around again. Let me find that guy right here. Here we go, the Neve. Then you hit open your project. Doesn't matter what you open from now on, they're gonna have this uh, color scheme. Let's go here and check another one out. This is another one that I really, really like here. And I've thought about maybe changing it and giving it a go. Matter of fact, I have did a little tweaking with it. Um, from time to time and we're gonna go ahead and just colorize it again because I think it makes it better for you guys to see the the whole thing colorized in this all right so we're back in this change that I made and like I said this is one that I've been thinking about you know doing some work with yeah that's nice and clean you can even change the lines and stuff in here if you want to like let's say you don't like um, this white here in the background let's open this up let's go here and click and let's say you want that more black, I guess. Maybe you want to something like that. And then, like I said, you can also kick that in. That's nice. Let's go something like this. Then you also have your different selections up here for working with your colors and stuff like that, which is really cool. Okay, but well let's go up here and let's change. Let's change our play button. Let's make that thing just pop out a little more. Let's make it more kind of, I don't know, neonish. Kind of what we're neonish. Is that even a word? Let's go to our record button here and let's make this guy. Yeah, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Let's go to our loop button. All right, let's just go ahead and colorize this and I'll have a new session to play with today. Well, new color palette on the session anyway. And um, that's kind of what I do. You know, when I do mess with this, I go in here and just start messing for a little while when I got some free time. And just over time, you start getting something that works really well, you know, for, for what you're doing. And then you just keep, um, you know, adding to it and stuff. You find you might go like, you know, hey, these numbers, I'm not seeing them quite right. Maybe I need, they're not popping out. Maybe I need to try, 
changing the colors and stuff on them. All right, so we're back in Logic, and you can see we changed this here. We got our loop button here, and you can also change the state of like where this is black, okay? You can change that. And we changed our record button. Anyway, see our colors that showed up there. Hey guys, I'm Rhett with the Mix Club. Thanks for sticking around and checking this video out. Like I said, this is something for me, I would be lost in logic without it. But anyway, guys, hey, I'm Rhett with the Mix Club, man. Until next time, be safe, y'all. See ya.